of a school where one teacher was positive with COVID-19. They had nine total cases um, that subsequently became infected, one person who died, and 400 contacted people. So 400 people who would have had to have been put in quarantine. Here's the narrative for this, just to, just to tell you how complex this is. When people say, and this is frustrating for me, so I will share that, it's frustrating. When we hear people say, it's not our problem, our school does a great job, our district does a great job, and explain all the wonderful things they can do, it is an overly simplistic analysis of a much more complicated problem. It is a false sense of confidence that somehow our one place is going to keep everything out and everyone safe. There are consequences that go well beyond that one uh, institution. So in the case I just told you, you have one middle, middle school teacher who had mild symptoms. The initial COVID test was negative, but the teacher continued working. Subsequent repeat testing was positive. So we've told you the test can be too early in the disease to find the disease. And in this case, the first test was negative, but all the other ones were positive. The teacher served as the temperature screener at the school. And so they interacted with every person who entered the building while they were the temperature screener. The school also recently had had an in-person all staff faculty meeting and it was held during lunch and included a provided meal. So masks were not worn because people were eating and there were multiple people that were within six feet of each other given the size of the room that they held the event in. The meeting was held during the teacher's contagious period and most of the staff were required to quarantine as a result of that event. At least one non-teacher subsequently tested positive. This was the second staff member. And this teacher, this second staff member subsequently exposed a large number of other people. At least one student who was in the same grade level as the first teacher subsequently tested positive and had symptoms. In that student, they took it home to their family. Three adult family members got sick and subsequently that person's grandparent died from COVID. So I just described a chain of events that involved one teacher, involved nine cases, and had a student who took it home to a family member who died. The second uh, situation I will tell you is an athletic player. We had one player who resulted in, who was positive for COVID, who resulted in 14 more cases in a total of 40 contacts, and school was not even in session, all right? So this could have been far, far worse if school was in session. So here's the story here. There's a teenager with respiratory symptoms, but despite having symptoms, and I remember we've said over and over, please stay home if you are sick. Stay home if you are sick and do not go to school or work or other activities until you are better. The teenager attended volleyball practice despite having respiratory symptoms. The team practiced together. All the players and coaches were exposed. Three additional players and two coaches subsequently tested positive. These cases then take the virus home and at least three more families are affected, resulting in at least six additional cases. And one of the infected family members also happens to be a teacher at the school. And as a result, at least two additional teachers were infected and several more were exposed. Now, the students were not attending uh, in-person session or classes at this period. Had they been in session, this could have been much worse. Now, there are other cases like these that are published in the CDC's um, Morbidity Mortality Weekly Reports and other places. I have to tell you, this is not, this is not a, dramatic, a, a dramatization made for TV. This stuff really happens. And the reason it's not happening more is because we've taken so many steps to prevent it from happening more. So there is a cause and effect relationship between the choices we've made, which have been very, very difficult, and the reason there's not as much disease out there in the community. And I'm gonna conclude here, uh, well, the, on the teacher point. I get a lot of mail still, and I wanna thank you, and I am very sorry. I, I would very dearly like to write response letters to all of you, and I just simply can't do that. But I do get it, and I read every letter and every card that comes to me. So. If it gives you comfort to know that I read it, please keep sending them because I, I see them. So I was picked up a bunch of mail last week and I got, uh, here's a, a letter I've got. 
And this is from a teacher. And I'm just going to read you a few lines here. Um, I teach, and I won't say where, um, and they've been teaching from home since March. It has been frustrating for me to have been hailed a hero for teaching in the spring and now selfish and lazy because I want to stay home. I don't want uh, to be teaching this way. It's much harder than even my hardest days in the classroom with some of the most challenging students. I have cried more and been more stressed out this year than any of my previous eight years in the classroom. And she goes on um, and her point is she has her own concerns about getting the disease and her own risk factors. And again, the operative part here is she is distressed by this divide about being hailed as a hero in the spring for teaching the students, but now being accused of being selfish and lazy because she's worried about her own safety and well being. And I think the governor was able to share, uh, with the family's permission, the story of Rufus. Uh, who did contain, uh, contact the disease through a school contact. So folks, we have got to look out for each other. None of this is easy. And we have never said it's easy, but it is necessary. And we are seeing a bright light at the end of the tunnel if these vaccines work like we hope they will. I just ask you to please look out for each other, care for each other, and hang in there just a little bit longer. I think next year is going to get much better. And